What is going on, my sexy bitches? Um, we have another story time. I haven't done a story time in such a long time. And before we get into it, I'd like to talk about some stuff like the gameplay. Um, I go 47 and 3, I think. Which is one of my best um, on Black Ops 2. I love this gun so much. And I uh, fast forward it through parts because it gets really long. So if you see me doing that, then yeah, you know what I'm doing. And also, I uploaded a video um, a Prank vs. Prank House. Um, the prank versus prank house of Gina and Jesse, and in Minecraft, I made the house in Minecraft, and it has over 3,000 views and 20 something likes, and that is the most I've ever gotten in a video. So thank you, that is amazing. I'm so happy about that. So yeah, let's get into the story about how I live in a shit howl. Oh, uh. all right. So if you didn't know. I live in upstate New York. I live in the poorest county in New York. And I also live next to the poorest city in New York. Uh, mine is much better than the one I live next to. Um, this is proven because it was actually in the paper. Um, the town I live next to is called Gloversville, New York. It is the poorest in New York. It was once the richest like, because there's, there's a bunch of old factories there. And like all the factory owners, owners would live in this city, and so it was like one of the richest at a time. But now there's just a bunch of scumbags and people that all they do is collect welfare and smoke cigarettes. And you know it sucks. It sucks big coxicles. Um, but my town is a little better, or my city is a little better than theirs. But not by a lot. Um, we have just as many smokers, and it's pretty bad. Um, we only have about 14,000 people that live in my city, so it's really small. And there's only, I, I'm in high school right now, and there's only about 500 kids in the whole high school. And that means, like, there's only, like, I don't even know, 100 kids in my class, which isn't a lot at all. So, um, hang on a minute. Are you kidding me? Of course I am. Sorry, I'm texting my mom. Um, okay. So I wrote down what I was going to say, so let's go through the list. Um, my mom works at a doctor's office, actually. And pretty much every teenager is pregnant that comes in. So my whole town is like 16 and pregnant. So I think MTV should come to my town and, you know, film some of the people here. And the biggest problem is that people do many drugs and alcohol. Everyone has like 100 kids so they can be on welfare, which is my biggest pet peeve when people just have lots of kids just to be on welfare and they grow up to be just like them, scumbags. It's not right. And... The other biggest problem is Juggalos. Whoop whoop! Juggalos. I'm sorry, my cack! All they do is, yeah, whoop whoop and wear uh, clown whatever shit because of ICP. And it's pretty annoying. I'm sorry for the paper crumpling. Um, another thing, it's either, it's either you're a Juggalo, douchebag, or an in betweener. And I'm an in betweener right now. Um, a lot of people are like in between douchebags and in betweeners, and a lot of them are uh, scumbags and weirdos. Um, um, the sports, if you don't do baseball, uh, basketball, and uh, football, that means you are a douchebag. Or it doesn't mean you're a douchebag, it's just you hang out with the douchebags and you, like, you dress like one, you have all the Nike high socks and the shoes with the huge tongues on them, like basketball shoes, and I think it's re retarded. They just think you're they're so cool, and it is pretty retarded. I am a cardio freak, so I do cross country in the fall, and I do 
cross country skiing in the winter, but I'm going to switch to swimming. And then I do track. And so I'm pretty much an in betweener, and then all the scumbags don't do anything except smoke all day. And what else can I say? Oh, my school can't pay for anything except football and lacrosse. Because lots of douchebags play lacrosse too. Um, so, the. What's it, what's it called? The. Athletic director, that's what it is. Um, he's a really big douchebag too. Because he only pays for football. Like, they get new shit every year. And nothing else goes to anyone else. And. He's a really big creep. He, like, always just stares at all the girls, and he always just touches them weirdly. He, like, pats them on the back, and then he's a really big creeper. There's a bunch of rumors about him, like, sleeping with a bunch of students and that have already graduated, even though he's married, and it's really weird. Um, also, there is this uh, a shooting scare after the shooting in S Sandy Hook Elementary. Um... This kid made a whole list about who he was going to shoot, and then he got, like, expelled, and he transferred schools, and it was really weird. But, yep, there's another scumbag. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I don't know. Um, the video is actually pretty much done, and so am I with my commentary. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I can't wait to get out of this place though. When I get older and like after college, I really can't wait to move and like just get out of this town, out of this state. I hate New York. Um, I would pro I might want to go to New York City, but I don't know. I just want to get somewhere out of here. Out of here. I want to get out of here. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe, like the video. Um, yeah. Have a nice day. I go 47. And three? Is that it? Yes. 47.4. I think. I can't read it right now. But yeah, hope you have a nice day. Again, goodbye.